Here's a great idea to turn your drain pipe into a mini wildlife wetland reserve and it's virtually maintenance free. All you'll need is a pot with some holes in and a couple of storage boxes, uh, washing up bowls or these old underbed storage boxes are about the right size and these will magically become a filter bed, a pond and a floodplain. And your drain pipe and gravity will naturally flush through clean rainwater through these boxes so that they don't need to be cleaned or a pump or any maintenance other than once a year cutting back the plants that you're about to put into them. So your floodplain box goes at the bottom. I've cut a hole in this one so that rainwater can flow straight into the drain. And I've cut the bottom of a flower pot to cover that hole because you're going to need a liberal spreading of gravel across the bottom of this so that water can drain away easily. On top of the gravel, a membrane layer. Now these are cheap from any garden center. That will stop your soil running away. Now the soil on top, use soil from the garden or of course peat-free compost to fill it up about halfway. And the box that's going to be the pond actually goes on top. You'll need to prop it up pretty solidly. Now I've cut a hole in this one that the water will fill up and then over spill into the floodplain and I'm going to use one of these cheap hose connectors just to make it look nice. Once that's in position you can start to put in the plants. Now for the aquatic plants it's a good idea to have some larger baskets to repot them into to give them a bit of space to grow into and you can weigh them down using this special pond soil, it's heavy soil that you can get from aquatic suppliers. And once you've got enough plants for a good range of colour and texture, things like this tall iris, that'll give a lovely splash of yellow in the summer, or this uh, watercress, you can stick that in these sandwiches. A bit of horticultural grit on top will help to keep these weighed down, but keep some of the grit back and one of the pots that you used for the aquatic plants, and that can make your filter pot. And that will need to sit on top of a brick or something so it's slightly higher, and the water will run through there and through the plants, into the floodplain section. And for this, again, a range of plants. Things like this fern will do well in the shady conditions by a back wall. You're looking for plants that really can do well in a range of dry conditions, and they're now and again being absolutely soaked through when there's heavy rainfall. And things like uh, some sedge here and some thrift at the back for a nice bit of color. Anything that's gonna attract some insects as well, butterflies and bees, and make this a real wildlifey feeling bit of garden. And by marking the drain pipe at the right height, you can cut it so that it will flow beautifully into the top of the filter pot and run through the system. Now we don't want it looking rickety and plasticky, so clad it in anything that will keep it soundly in place and also make it look attractive. Bricks, wood, stones, mud, whatever you've got to hand that's going to surround it and make it look great and also make it a wonderful little wildlife habitat. All these nooks and crannies are great places for creepy crawlies and if you're very lucky, even possibly newts or frogs as well. Think of it not so much as a bug hotel, but more a bug water spa resort. Well, if the weather gods smile on you, you'll be able to see your system in action and the water coming through the filter, the pond and the floodplain. Now rainwater rather than tap water will keep this algae free and we were lucky we had lots of bricks but this is still a very temporary structure. It means you can take it out if you don't like it or test it a few times and build something more permanent. Whatever you do, you will end up doing is slowing down the flow of rainwater into your drain. And you know what? If everybody in all the towns and cities across the country did that, we would go a long way to solving urban flooding overnight and at the same time create thousands and thousands of mini little wetland reserves. Your drain pipe is possibly the least interesting thing in your house. They sort of end up becoming invisible to us. But have a look outside at yours now and have a think how your pipe dream could become something that people will want to look at.